Solve for x such that square root of 3 plus square root of x equals 3 minus x. Hmm, what shall we do? Firstly, notice that a square root cannot be negative. So does it mean? The left hand side is a square root. So 3 minus x should be positive or equal to 0, not negative. And x is also under a square root, so x should also be non-negative. From these two inequalities, we get x should be greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 3 simultaneously. If you check these two endpoints, you can find out that x can neither be 0 nor 3. So x is actually between 0 and 3. Now, we've already talked about the domain of x. What we can do is substitution. It is always good to substitute disgusting things. For example, the left hand side. It contains two square roots. What if I let it be t? t is of course greater than zero. From this equation, we can get t squared is 3 plus square root of x. And if we substitute t back into our original equation, then we get t equals 3 minus x. So now we actually get a system of equations about t and x. Now let's subtract these two equations. We get t squared minus t equals square root of x minus plus x. So t squared minus x equals square root of x plus t. The left hand side can be actually factorized because you see we have a square root of x here and x is just square root of x all squared. So the left hand side is t minus square root of x times t plus square root of x. And we subtract the right hand side from the both sides, we get then subtract square root of x plus t equals zero. Now you can notice that we have t plus square root of x here and also here. So take it out. t plus square root times uh, t plus square root of x times t minus square root of x, then minus 1 equals 0. Because t is greater than 0, x as well. So this factor is greater than 0. What does it mean? It means that this one should be equal to 0, which implies that t should be square root of x plus 1, or t minus square root of x equals 1. t is square root of x plus 1. What is t? t is this one. So it means that our square root of 3 plus square root of x is 1 plus square root of x. Square the both sides, we get 3 plus square root of x equals x plus 1 plus 2 times square root of x. Then we get square root of x is actually equal to 2 minus x. And from this equation, if we square the both sides, we get x equals 4 plus x squared minus 4x. So x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. And the left hand side can be factorized. It is x minus 4 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So we get two solutions, x1 is 4 and x2 is 1. So forget to check them. 3 plus square root of 4, oh, that is 3 plus 2, which is 5. Square root of 5 does not equal to 3 minus 4, because 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So we have to abandon the first solution, 
Or you can know immediately from here because x should be between 0 and 3. However, 4 is greater than 3. What about x2 equals 1? 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2 is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we have one solution to this equation. That is x equals 1. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more for questions. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.